All right, let's uh, let's talk about Marshall right quick. We've had several people uh, contact the show and want to know what our thoughts are on the situation around Conference USA and the Sun Belt. So Marshall has sued Conference USA in its latest attempt to leave the conference by July first of this season or of this year, excuse me. And basically, they they got to stay. Uh, basically, saying that they are allowed to leave. Now, Conference USA can go back at them again after March 7th, I believe, so I don't know what good the stay really does. Conference USA has put Marshall, Southern Miss, and I am forgetting somebody right now, and I should have written it down, but um, but there are three teams that were trying to leave that decided, uh, you know, we're going to go on and leave for this season, and they let them know and they found some kind of a loophole that says that they don't have to necessarily pay anything or they can pay a little something and go ahead and leave. And Marshall has said, basically, you know what, we're we're going to sue you guys, and now Conference USA has come back and sued Marshall. Uh, when you pull up, let's see, on my Twitter page, I actually shared it out. Conference USA's statement said, while Conference USA respects the court's decision to temporarily grant the recent motion filed by Marshall University, the Conference USA Board of Directors stand firm in their belief that all Conference USA institutions, including Marshall, are expected to honor their contractual obligations and adhere to the agreed upon bylaws and covenants. Conference USA is fully prepared to move forward with the remainder of the legal process. Okay, so in, in normal circumstances, the conference that is being left understands that there is nothing to be gained from this. Just go on and let them go and then collect your payout. But in this situation, I don't know that it's that easy. I, I think that they are going to force these three schools to stay in Conference USA for this season unless they pay some massive buyout. Like I, I think that's the way that this thing is going to go down. But I, I really have no idea, Chris. Do you have any idea what to make of this entire situation? Because I don't remember seeing what? anything like this. No, and I'd love to see the language where they, whatever the loophole is, where they get to leave without a buyout. Because I've never in my life seen one of these conference deals drawn up where where you can leave in the middle of a deal without a buyout. I'm talking never in the history of college sports and realignment have we ever seen this. And I need to know the loophole that they're trying to use for the buyout to see is this legit or is this just bullshit. Um and uh, because that's the only thing that makes any sense at all to me. If you're Conference USA and they're trying to leave without paying, then, yeah, I kind of want to force them to stay until they agree to pay. Um, because once you let them leave without paying, fighting them for that money is always harder to do. You know? Yeah. Like, once they're gone, it's just a lot harder to get the money than than to if you can get a court to force them to basically stay until – until they paid money, uh, or the, the you 13, get a court to, to, to Drew to to, uh, to to judge on on you getting the money, yes or no, before they leave. Yeah, no. The uh, the third team, by the way, was Old Dominion. Uh, all three, That's it. Yeah, they all declared their intent to leave uh, this summer, uh, and they stated that Conference USA refused to negotiate an exit earlier than the fourteen months required by the league's bylaws. So that's that's kind of their loophole here. Is Conference USA refused to negotiate? Uh, an exit for them, like within the fourteen months. So, well, do they refuse to negotiate, or do they refuse to negotiate off the number that they were wanting? So, let's say it's you know ten million dollars for the league. I'm just pulling the number out of my ass, okay? And and they're like, well, we don't want to pay that. And they're like, well, we're not we're not budgeting. And they're like, well, <laughs> like that's the negotiation. They won't negotiate with us. <laughs> like, well, wait a minute now. You're you're trying to you're trying to negotiate around a contract. We have contracts. Yeah, you know, I don't have to negotiate. I have a contract. Now, CUSA did Is respond it? to it. By the way, they uh, they responded to the statement. They demanded that this go to arbitration, in which a third party arbitrator makes a ruling and could provide immediate injunctive relief, such as requiring Marshall to remain in the league. Uh, outside lawyers. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah, that's probably in the contract as well, because almost like almost every employment contract. I'm sure this is very different than an employment contract. Okay. But almost every employment contract says you cannot just sue your employer without going through arbitration. You just you have to go through arbitration. You cannot just do that. Um, it makes sense. And uh, 
And, and so I'm certain that that language is in the contract as well. It looks like the schools are trying to break the contract and not follow the rules of it, which I think is a really dumb thing for them. You're about to leave for a much better thing. Making this fight to cripple or crush the people beneath you that you're leaving is just a shitty move. Like, I, 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 like it's yeah. just a shitty, shitty move. It is. It absolutely is. Uh, Tuesday, by now, the way. Now, if you're trying to get out cheaper, that's different. But, but then let's talk about money. Let's negotiate dollars and cents. But, but if you know that, you know, the contract says you got to go through arbitration, then go through the damn arbitration. Isn't that hard? Uh, Tuesday was the deadline for Marshall to provide available dates for an arbitration hearing to the American Arbitration Association. Uh, but, you know, they uh, they didn't do it. So, <laughs> oh, that's, so that's on them. Like, like, this is my problem. Is I'm on your side. I want you to leave and, and be able to do whatever's best for your school. I'm okay with that. But you, you're, you're under a contract, and you have to abide by the rules of the contract. This isn't the damn NBA. All right, you can't just sit out and say I'm hurt. You got to pay me the whole contract. It's never working for you again. The second you like get traded away, like oh, I'm healed magically. Jalapeno, let's go. Like this isn't how this shit's gonna work. This is like professional corporate world, man. Yes, yes. You're about to walk into a judge's, you know, chambers. You can't. You can't just do this Mickey Mouse bullshit. Yeah, I'm. uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, like I was under assumption that they thought that there was some type of loophole in like the language of the contract that would allow them to leave without paying. No, I was like, the, how in the hell? Like whoever wrote that, and I think I said that on the show. Like whoever wrote that, if they allowed for a loophole like that, that person, whatever employment they're in now, if they're a bus driver today, they need to be fired from that job. They cannot be trusted to do any job well ever yeah. again. So I, the only loophole would be the the fourteen month negotiation table. And, so and if they just, they just set a price, negotiate. yeah, and if they set a price and didn't want to negotiate it, uh, that in and of itself is a negotiation. Well, I set a price. We're not going to negotiate. And I'm sure the price is in the contract, by the way. Like, oh, yeah. Like, it's just like in the SEC. Like, if you wanted to leave the SEC, this is what it costs you. Uh, you know, the Big 12 is dealing with this right now. There's a cost for, for Oklahoma and Texas to leave. It's going to cost them something. And it's like nobody gets to make this number up the way they want to. It's in the contract. It's, it's contractually already negotiated for how you're going to leave if you leave. And, and so trying to do anything outside of that is going to be really hard on you. And if you're expecting to just do it without going at least through arbitration, then damn, what do you want? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that they are going to be stuck in, in Conference USA next year. That, that's what I think I is going to I wonder if they would have just gone through arbitration. Are they afraid that arbitration is not going to side with them because they don't have an actual argument to make? Because if you're trying to leave and you don't have any argument to make, then, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That, uh, that makes sense, right? I mean, that's yeah. that's the way that this looks to me. Uh, but we'll see. It, it, it's, just a, it's just a weird situation. It doesn't. It, Mar, I think Marshall and these schools are making a, a really bad situation. Like, situation worse and and i i don't i don't really don't know the reason why unless they honestly think we don't care how this makes us look if we can get out of doing this for less money or if we can get to leave early or whatever then we're, we're fine we'll take that i i think that's it i think they the conference usa tv deals and whatnot were not great to begin with um well no but the know. conference the deal the tv deal that they're going to is not going to be great so, yeah, agreed. Now they'll be making a little be bit more money, but no, it's gonna it's gonna be better. That's why they're doing it. But at the end of the day, this is not. You know, we're we're not we're not squabbling over you know forty million dollars here. Okay, we're talking about <laughs> jump change in the grand scheme of it. And you're the one breaking. At the end of the day, I can't get around this. You're the one breaking the contract. You are allowed to break it, but it costs this much to break it. Yes. And in very easy terms, just go in and knock that out, this is and then not, you can leave. Like I just don't, I just don't understand why they think the rules don't apply to them. This, hang on, that, that's I just said something that that this is this is the problem. School presidents, chancellors, athletic directors for the last I don't know thirty years have been able to do whatever the hell they want, and nobody, nobody has been able to tell them what to do, when to do it, or how to do it. They do whatever the hell they want in the answer to the 
And that's the problem is you haven't ever been held accountable for making a bad decision other than you make the wrong hire enough times we fire you. That's it. That's a perfect That's perfect transition. You're you're not told no enough until you think no one can tell you no. That, Brother, I think they're yeah. gonna be mistaken in the court of law. Now I'm not a legal genius. I know a lot more about the law than the average dumb dumb, but I you know, I'm still a dumb dumb. So <laughs> let's remember that. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.